Well, I've been at this for a while, so I figured I would kind of tell you guys my technique I've developed here. My first scoop here is just purely getting the muck out. And then my second scoop is where I go down and I've kind of established a grade roughly going on the depth of my bucket in the water. So I go down right about there, come across, start to curl up, and then clean my close bank here. As you can tell, I'm digging totally in the blind in this water. So really what it's boiling down to is me kind of just picking a benchmark on my bucket to figure out how deep I'm gonna go because there's not really a hard bottom down there either. So again, I'm gonna follow my bank down. Right about there is my depth. Come across, start curling up, clean the bank closest to me. And onward we go. I have to say, I'm kind of a fan of this kind of work. Back out here in the woods by yourself, you don't have anyone looking over your shoulder. You get to play around with muck. It is kind of satisfying throwing this mud around. Nice change of pace from what I'm usually doing. I'm trying to open up the banks a little bit, but at the same time, I don't want to just overdig this thing like crazy. There's a, there's a fine balance here. And since this didn't come with any instructions, I'm just having to find that balance myself. That thumb takes a lot of oomph out of the swing motors. I will say this machine swings quick. Every once in a while, like right now, I'll back up and take kind of a half pass to clean up. Well, that stick doesn't want to come out. There we go. And you can remember from yesterday's drone video, right there at that tree line, it cuts, goes all the way across that field way over there, then cuts and goes up to the road. So I have a lot of ditch cleaning to do today and tomorrow. I'm hoping 
by tomorrow I can get this knocked out. We'll see. say so far the the smell has not been that bad normally in the summertime especially you start getting into these nasty organics and the stink is rough but maybe it's because it's cold out still the smell hasn't been too stinking bad Dicks, participate. I know I'm gonna eat my words, but so far I have not splashed myself in the face with mud. 
that's gonna come back and bite me that I bragged about that but it is what it is Kind of surprised, but I haven't found any more turtles yet. I thought for sure I'd find a fair amount of them back here. I noticed a little nastiness floating back here, a little thick. I'm going to grab that. Yum. Every time, this thing swings so quick. That's a good one. That's a good one. Woo. <laughs> there, there it is again. Ah. Uh. There's that chunk I was wanting. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Well, this segment of the video anyway, and I will flip the cameras back on at another fascinating point in my day. We'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, after a crap load of digging, I'm finally to something interesting. We're gonna try to yank this culvert out of here. See how well this 140 handles this. I think it's 48 inch. Well, maybe that's not 48. I don't know, it's hard to tell when it's down there in the hole and halfway full. But we're gonna see if we can't pop this out of here. Great. I bet we will. But I am going to take some more of this dirt off of here. Because that will help it break free.
There's one. Now let's see if we can't get the other one out of here. My goal here is to dig dig down to where I'm close to the midline of the pipe. That way it's not wedged in there. that baby free there it is Nifty, nifty. Now let's scoot our way, scoot ourselves away from the edge just a hair, and we'll go dig that out and make it look nice like the rest of our ditch. By the way, this is what I've been up to. We've made a fair amount of progress. We're well around the river bend now, and it don't look too shabby. I tell you, for a guy who's never cleaned a ditch before, that is a nice looking ditch if I may say so myself. Mm, mm, mm. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. if we're putting that culvert back in or not there was mention that we might where do I want to put this there was mention that we might put a culvert there but I don't really understand a reason to put a culvert there because a little bit further down here there's a crossing back over there and there's not really any reason to cross here so I don't know why we would put it back in but that is Taylor's call not mine and I will do as I am told. Alright guys. I'm back to just ditching, so I'm going to turn the camera off, conserve battery, and we'll hit you guys with the next interesting thing. See you guys in a bit. Well, everybody, we just got back from lunch, and it's time to fire back up, but I made the mistake of going and eating a pretty good-sized lunch, and now I'm in the mode where I just want to take a nap. So, as we have talked about on this channel before, let's get the top-down view. Now we will get the forward view ah yes monster so i normally drink the regular monster the green one but taylor swears up and down i need to try this one ultra sunrise i've never had it before i don't usually fancy my monsters up so we're gonna give it a shot it's all right taylor i know you're watching this it's all right okay it's not great but it's not bad 
I just happen to like my green monster. It's just good. So, now we have to try to be productive, unfortunately. Mm. Normally I don't gulp my monsters, but I don't want this thing banging around and splashing everywhere. It means I have to be a smoother operator. Uh, so to give you guys an update, uh, as you can see, we've cleared a load of ditch, but we still have a load of ditch more to go. Um, Taylor brought the wheeled machine over. Hopefully he's gonna get rolling on that here pretty quick so it will get out of my way. But where we are going to use that is, you can see this flag right, right there. Uh, he's gonna do a tie-in right there. Well, let me swing around to show you. And it will kind of arc around and run alongside this food, this food plot here. I think we're gonna do two runs through it and uh, drain some of that out. Yeah. So I'm just trying to muck this out before he comes over and starts wheeling and dealing. So anyway, let's get back to ditching because that's what we're doing for the next foreseeable future. I will say, now that I got some more seat time in this Doosan, I like this machine. This is a nice little machine. It is stinking fast. The swing is fast. The hydraulic controls are responsive. The uh, sticks don't take hardly any effort to move. I am a fan. And like I said yesterday, about the only two things I'm not a fan of are the counterweight. It needs a little more counterweight, especially having this thumb on here. And then the only other thing it needs is the radio positioned in a way that doesn't require me contorting myself backwards in order to see the screen. So. And I know someone's going to comment below that the controls for the radio are right here, yes. But that's assuming you've got your radio stations all programmed or you're not going to mess with anything else. And unfortunately, I don't have any radio stations tuned because I'm not even from Ohio. So, just make it easier to use for me, for me and my specific situation. Jeez, the world should revolve around me. So Taylor and I were talking about it earlier. There is something remarkably satisfying about cleaning ditches, especially on a day like today. Like it is stunningly beautiful weather and I'm just out here in a field by myself. I don't have anyone barking at me, moving at my own pace. It is like Zen operating. You don't have to worry about following a print. You're just out here mucking. Uh, excuse me, monster, sorry. I'm sexy and I know it. Sorry ladies, I am taken. I work out. So you may wonder why I'm throwing things back into the ditch. Uh, it's because on some of those last scoops, it's pretty much mostly water, but there is some muck in there. And so when I throw it back in the ditch, 
it allows the water to run off. I mean, obviously it's still gonna have a lot of water in it, but it at least allows some of the water to run off before I decide to bail it behind me. So there is a rhyme to my reason and a reason to my rhyme. Like that's a prime example. All that water is going to flow out and I'll scoop the rest of the muck when I go and excavate that portion of the ditch. Haven't found any more turtles, surprisingly. I thought for sure I'd have some turtles by now. Alright guys, into day two, we're wrapping up a little early because tonight I have the live stream. It's actually Sunday in my world. I don't know when you guys are watching this because I, who knows when I'm going to edit it. Um, but yeah, I clean ditches all day long. And I'm not even going to attempt to walk down there to show you guys because that's a long freaking walk. So what I'm going to do is fire up the drone and I'm going to give you an exploratory drone preview, tour, showcase. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but anyway, I'm going to give it to you on the drone because I'm not going to walk my ass all the way down there. But that is literally all I did all day was clean ditches. Uh, and you can see, in fact, let me give you a nice, like this is what we're working with right there. Just organics, leaves, uh, grass, reeds. And I've got a solid at least foot to foot and a half of that before you get into the muck. And then I've got about... Sorry, you guys probably can't even hear what I'm talking about, can you? Because I keep forgetting I have this mic on. So it's basically leaves, grass, reeds, just a bunch of organic decaying matter. I've got about a foot and a half of that. Then you get down into the actual muck, which is fully decomposed. I've got about another foot and a half of that. So I'm getting probably three foot out of this, out of this, uh... good Lord, why, why can't I think of words today? Ditch, there's the word I'm looking for, ditch. Um, I'm getting about three foot out of this ditch before I start to get to the bottom of, of what it should actually be. So uh, as you can see, we've still, we've still got a ways to go. I bet I've got another day and a half probably, and I think I can knock this out. Um, so anyway, let's flip you over to the drone footage. I hope you guys have enjoyed this lovely day of cleaning ditches with me. We'll do it again tomorrow. See you guys then.